Hey guys, Justin here with Razorback Off-Road. Today we're gonna go over the install of our rock sliders on this Polaris 1000 four-seater. So you'll notice we're in our wash bay today. Our engineers are hard at work putting together new products for you guys in our R&D shop. So stick with me. We'll do a quick overview of all the parts, hardware and tools necessary to get this build going. Then we'll go step-by-step step how to get the rock sliders on your machine so that we can get you out on the trail. So here we have laid out all the parts we need for the passenger side of the vehicle. We've got two mounting brackets, one that goes towards the front of the machine and one more towards the middle. The rear is attached to the rock slider itself. It's welded together. Um, as far as attaching to the machine, we've got eight bolts here, four that attach the brackets to the rock slider and four that attach the brackets to the machine. These replace the ones that came um, factory installed. So as far as tools, all we need is the T40 Torx bit, a 10 millimeter wrench, and a half inch socket. First thing you're gonna need to do is remove these T40 um, bolts that come factory installed. That's where we're gonna use for our mounting locations for our brackets. So as you go to install these brackets, you'll wanna take a kind of a close look. You'll notice a couple of things that are different. If you to point these out, this tab is a little bit wider than the other as well, uh, the standoff is a little bit, one's a little bit taller than the other. So you're gonna wanna take the bracket that is a little bit narrower um, and not quite as tall, and that's gonna go on the front of the machine, lining up this tabs in that hole, set that in place, and then start, just finger tight, these bolts. Same thing on this middle bracket. Again, just noting that this is the wider tab. Um, you take this tab and locate it in the machine hole again and finger tight. So now that you have your brackets in place, we're gonna go ahead and set this rock slider in place. You're just gonna take this tab and locate it in that hole once you get it in there, it will kind of, it will take the weight off of your hands. You can just set that in place. Then you can take your bolts. You've got two bolts here that go into the machine. One in this top left corner. And then another one right here in the bracket itself. Just get those started and leave them loose. And then move on to your other bolts into the brackets. So now that we've got all of our bolts started, I'm gonna go back through and tighten everything down. I'm gonna start with the brackets that go into the machine. You can get to these lower brackets with a box end wrench through the bottom of the rock slider. If you've got a drill and a socket, you can reach that straight in the front. So. And then we'll come back and get the four outer bolts. This is gonna be using our half inch socket. One thing I forgot to mention as we go through this, we do recommend putting blue Loctite on all of these bolts. Now that you've got all your bolts tightened up, just do the same thing on the other side and you'll be ready to go. So there you have it. Your rock sliders are on and ready to go. Don't forget to swing by RazorbackOffRoad.com and check out some of our other parts and accessories for this General 1000 four-seater. While you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can keep up to speed with all of our cool new products coming out. And as always, we'll see you out on the trail.